Hey y'all, Joseph R. Long, the Sumo Size Ginger, coming at you today. And today I wanted to talk to you about being a prisoner in your own body. Be sure to hit the subscription button down below if you'd like to see more videos like this. So I've been a big guy my entire life, but it's only recently in the past five years that I've really felt like I'm a prisoner in my own body. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, I'm somebody who used to be extremely active. I used to run around, I used to walk, I used to do all the normal things that a person does. But in the last five years, things have gotten worse as I've gained more weight, and it's made it more difficult to maintain that. And so I feel like a prisoner in my own body, because while I used to be able to walk for 20 to 30 minutes with no problem, because of the weight I've put on, I feel like I can't even walk 50 feet. And there's nothing worse than knowing that you used to be able to do something that you can't do now. Whether it be from pain, whether it be from just general getting older. I want to talk to you all about how you can avoid feeling like a prisoner in your own body. Because even though you are stuck where you're at, even though you're struggling to do things that are normal in your life, there's other things you can do to make it exciting and something enjoyable for you. So being a prisoner in your own body is no fun. You're literally stuck, unable to do what you used to do. That doesn't mean you can't find other things to take and fill up the time. For instance, I started writing books. I ended up writing 13 of them before I finally felt like all my stories were told. Now, they're still in various stages of work. I still need to, to put my butt in the chair and finish them. But the point is I took the time to get the stories out in the first place, which is something more than most people tend to do. Doing that helped me expand my world. I wasn't stuck inside anymore. I was out being a half dragon in one case. I was out in the middle of a nuclear apocalypse in another. And in another one, I was running terrified from zombies. Your imagination can really help you to escape this feeling of being a prisoner in your own body. You are still stuck where you are, but your imagination makes it so you're always free. Another thing I've done is taken and started using my cameras again. That makes a huge difference in how I feel because I'm able to take and show the world what I see with my eye and it makes me feel better. And I'm not a great photographer, I'm just okay. But it's something that I enjoy doing and it makes me feel less trapped. That's also why I started talking to the cameras here. Uh, I use these when I work too, when we have meetings and things, I use my cameras. But being able to sit here and talk to you guys really does help me to feel free too. I'm not constrained in the way they were, say even 10 years ago, where I would be stuck at home and literally stuck, unable to go anywhere. And hopefully being able to start my journey and discuss it with you guys will make it so I'm not a prisoner in my body very long. I'll be able to escape my prison and be able to get back to what I used to do and what I love to do. While being a prisoner in your own body is no fun, it makes it easier if you do have friends and family who love and support you and help you in that. For instance, I'm lucky enough that I have a wonderful, beautiful wife who understands my limitations and is willing to work with me around them. But the cap side of that is I know her limitations and I know what she struggles with and it gives me a chance to shine and show her what I can do to help her. Just because you're a prisoner in your own body doesn't mean you're useless. I mean, that's part of why I found success in the job I'm in. I'm able to say, even though I'm stuck in my body, I can't really go leave my house and do a lot, I can still work. I can still support my family. I can still make enough money to go out and have fun with my friends. I can take and support my hobbies, for instance, my cameras. So just because you're a prisoner doesn't mean you're useless. Find something useful for yourself to do and do it. That'll help you escape your prison, even if it's only for a moment. And even if you can never escape your prison, remember that the prison is mostly up here in your head. You're the one that perceives the world around you. You're the one that makes of it what you will. You can either be happy about what you're surrounded by, or you can let it drag you down. And I'm gonna let you in on a secret. It's much more fun in life if you don't hold yourself down. The world is gonna try and do it enough on its own. It doesn't need your help to do it. So that's all I have time for today. If you enjoyed the video, I'd love for you to subscribe. And I'd also love if you'd leave me a comment below talking about how you feel trapped in your own body and what you would do to escape it. It's been fun talking to you. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I'll see you guys next time. Laters.